everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. And I just wanted to recap so far 2020. We're not that far into the year. So you still have time if you want to turn your trading year around. If you've been struggling so far this year and you really want to make 2020 a great year, you still have plenty of time to do it. I will say that for the Stock Swoosh, this year has started off with a huge bang. Unexpectedly, I, I've had this huge opportunity in Tesla multiple times since the beginning of the year. And every trade but one that I called in that stock was profitable. And not only that, huge, huge return on investment. And this is just in that one particular stock. And I think the takeaway from that for me for 2020 is, well, several things. One, my intuition my analysis, my eye for reading stocks and predicting where they're going to go has reached reached a, a, a really the highest point it's ever been. It doesn't mean that I can't continue to get better. Obviously, we can all continue to get better. I believe that I can continue to get even better uh, than I've been so far this year. But I definitely have noticed within myself that my intuition has been heightened even more so and my focus. And so then when the market gave us Tesla, I saw it immediately and had 100% conviction. And so a lot of the traders this year, specifically the traders who have done the Golden Gap course, who are in the trading room and who are on the options newsletter, have had a huge start to the year, uh, bigger than really any of them could have ever imagined from the feedback that I've gotten. And they've been following along. And I think when you when you start out the year really strong, it definitely helps your confidence to move that momentum forward. But on the opposite point, if, if you start the year off weak, then you feel down and out, and then it takes you a while to lift yourself back up and pull your bootstraps up and continue forward. So the point is that there's a lot of time left in the year if you still want to have a great year. You absolutely, absolutely can. So that's number one. And number two, with the move in Tesla, I've realized that stocks are, are, are such a great way to make money with momentum when you capture them at the right place. Even Amazon today. Amazon, I knew that it was going to go back to that area. I knew that it was going to go back to 2100. And I knew that it was going to do it. And I could tell the two days after, after the earnings. So after the earnings for two days, the way that it traded, and I said this in the trading room, I could tell that it was going to go back fairly soon to that number. And I called option trades in it out till next Friday, the 14th, but it did it today. It went to the number today. Anyways, stocks can have these big moves, 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 and, and in 2020 moves and you never could even have imagined. And I guess that's that's the other point that I'm trying to make. You you think that something can't move really big, but it can. So when you're when you're training, if you're not in the right stuff to make money, you're you're gonna lose. And if you're trying to force a stock to move, and it you can't. So it's not gonna move if it doesn't want to move. So you can't force yourself to have a big trade if the move isn't there in the stock. Okay, you can't take some obscene amount of size just to make a certain amount of money. You have to still use your normal risk. But the point is, if you're engaged and you're training and you're specifically with me getting the calls. For the year, and I've been on point, like I said, I have been on point this year, like never before. Uh, if you're getting the calls and you're consistently there, watching them, getting them, the options, the day trades, listening to my market analysis, paying attention to the things I'm saying, reading between the lines and listening to my words in the trading room, you're, you're going to get it. It's, a, it's about being there and being present for the opportunity to come along. Because if you're not there and you're not engaged and you're not involved and you're not on my options newsletter, when I call in the next Tesla, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. And also for the people in the training room, I know uh, people don't listen necessarily to everything I say every day. And I mean, I said the other day what Amazon was going to do in the trading room. And I often say, does it, did anybody hear what I had to say? Does anyone remember what I said? I, I've been saying that more and more because I'm really testing people to see if they're really paying attention to the things that I am saying. So, you know, this year, the market has started off very bullish. All right. And I don't know really uh, where we go next week. There are some things with the market that have created a hiccup, but I don't see this virus really creating a massive sell-off in the market. 
I think the market's going to pick itself up and go make new highs again probably next week because the market has been showing so much strength, all right? And no one's really talking about tariffs or tariffs with China pretty much at all anymore. And the Fed says that it's not going to raise rates in 2020. So unless the Fed changes that or unless something happens with, with tariffs in China again later this year that would be negative, the market will most likely hold the uptrend for 2020. At least at that this point, that's what I'm seeing. So, you know, given the fact that I like for the day trades in the day trading room to prefer to short, it's been very interesting because when we're looking at overnights, I'm looking at something, one specific thing. And then when we're looking at the day trades, we're looking at another specific thing because the time frame for the moves of the momentum is very, very different. One is a matter of seconds or minutes or hours. And the other one, it could be really a matter of hours or days, okay, depending on how you're trading. But the point is that, Whatever your background is, wherever you come from, whether you've been trading and you've lost, whether you've never traded before, you can do this if you learn what to do. And if you follow someone that's really good, really good at reading the market and stocks like me. So uh, I think that it's about having an open mind, having a positive attitude. If your attitude is negative about trading, you will most likely create that in your trading life, which will result in losses. Uh, with good money management, which to me is very, very basic. That's like 101 trading, 101 is to have good money management. The most, the biggest part that a lot of people miss and don't have and have no idea how to find or get or know is the strategy. That's something that I feel very, very blessed that I created my own Golden Gap strategy. It took me three and a half years to do it. And that was a very long time ago now. So I've been doing this now for 12 years and literally have perfected what I do with the market and stocks and my analysis. So looking to improve, looking to stay focused, looking to get better. And if you're thinking about joining, reach out, email me at melissaatthestockswoosh.com. We'll see what the rest of February brings. It is still earning season. It is still a great time to get involved in trade. And, you know, if you're thinking about doing this and have general questions, feel free to reach out and give me a call. Have a great night, everyone. Have a great weekend.